Hi, this is Michelle Madden with the Grand Prairie Chamber of Commerce, and today we have with us Chief Daniel Sesney from Grand Prairie Police Department. Thanks for coming. Glad to be here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> wow, these are different times, aren't they? Yes, without question. Uh, this COVID-19 pandemic has created quite a, a challenge for us at the police department, but we're doing well, and uh, all of our officers, knock on wood, are still healthy. And uh, hopefully we will continue to do that so that we can uh, keep everybody else safe. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. So have you put together any specific um, procedures or anything new for your, for your people in terms of today's situation? Oh, my goodness. Yes, we have changed quite a bit, actually. So uh, this pandemic has created challenges for us that we'd never seen before. And social distancing is the opposite of what we in law enforcement do often. So uh, for, I'll just give you a couple quick hits. First of all, every night, every day before officers hit the street, they typically get together for what we call a roll call. And we learn about what happened the night before, what our crime trends are, those sorts of things. Unfortunately, we can't do roll call briefings because we are afraid that even a single officer could, could decimate an entire shift. Losing an entire uh, shift would be very challenging for the city because uh, as you can imagine, having no cops on the street is, is a non-starter. So uh, what we've done is we've moved to a complete electronic roll call. All our officers check in uh, to work on the radio so we know they're, they're in service and they open up their email and receive the daily uh, roll call briefing in electronic format. So uh, all information sharing has been done electronically. Okay. All, all meetings, uh, I've been completely discontinued for the time being. All of that is done very similar to what we're doing here uh, on conference calls and Zoom meetings and that sort of thing. No one can come in our building or leave our building without uh, scrubbing in and scrubbing out. So we have hand sanitizer at every station uh, to enter the building. The public, unfortunately, is not able to come in under you, and unless it's, we're not, we're not keeping victims of crime out, uh, family violence, those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, they have to follow the same protocols, and when they meet with our staff, we're using uh, glass or plexiglass to keep a barrier there to keep our, our officers safe. Uh, we're disinfecting all of our patrol vehicles, our entire building, and even allowing uh, our officers and staff to, to uh, disinfect their personal vehicles. So that's keeping everybody uh, disinfected and safe. And then uh, the last thing is we're also checking everyone's temperature, and we're doing that daily. So anybody uh, that starts to exhibit symptoms, they're sent home. And, and uh, of course, the goal there is to keep everyone else that doesn't have symptoms away from those that do. And but so you didn't far, mention, yeah, so far you're good though? Yes, yes. Well, Thank that's you. good news, that's good news. So I assume that you have outfitted your uh, people with PPE and how is your stock and supply on that? What's the situation? So we're very in good shape, luckily, um, we sort of read the tea leaves early. And so before uh, the shortage took place, we had gotten in front of the line uh, early March and made sure that we had an adequate stock. So we are, we are good on N95 masks, hand sanitizer, uh, eye protection. We had all of our officers outfitted with all of that PEPE even before the shelter in place uh, orders came out. Also, uh, our business partners have been fantastic uh, we have had many that have come forward with uh, N95 masks and hand sanitizer uh, and gloves and donated those items. So we're really in good shape, knock on wood. I know some of our uh, agencies around us are struggling. We're just not one of them. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, good. So, you know, with uh, I watch a lot of news right now trying to keep everybody up to date and keep myself up to date. And I understand that there are certain police calls that might be on the increase these days, given that everyone's sheltering in place. I don't know if you've seen any reflection of that here in Grand Prairie. We have. So unfortunately, whenever uh, many families are forced to stay together for a long period of times, domestic uh, disturbances increase and mm -hmm. Grand Prairie is no exception. We're seeing domestic violence cases on the rise. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it, it is concerning. My, my biggest concern is uh, quite honestly for children and, and uh, children that are uh, victims of uh, physical and emotional and sexual abuse because they can't get away from their abusers, not even to go to school. 
So it, it's it's sad challenge that, that uh, comes with the shelter in place order. Uh, but yes, we are seeing an increase in disturbances. I'm hopeful that that'll start to uh, drop, but so far we haven't seen that uh, trend begin to dissipate. And I would guess too that with everybody trying to stay home that there'd be less traffic accidents and things like that. No, ironically, we just last night on Easter had our sixth uh, traffic fatality. Oh of the year. gosh. So we're still seeing some tra traffic fatalities, but the uh, traffic accidents are down. There's a lot less uh, traffic congestion as you, I'm sure you've seen. Mm -hmm. So that part of it is good. Our thefts are down. But with that, it's because retail is down. And our, I know our business community is really struggling uh, because of this, this order and, and non-essential businesses not being able to be, to be open. So uh, I would gladly trade uh, the, the slight increases, uh, decreases rather that we've seen in the thefts uh, to get our businesses back up and online. With all that being said, have you seen any other trends happening right now? You know, you, Michelle, you probably heard me say this before, but I love it that our citizens feel safe enough to keep their doors unlocked, but I also hate it that our citizens feel safe enough to keep the doors <laughs> unlocked. Uh, we have noticed that uh, there has been uh, individuals that are going through the neighborhoods at night, pulling on door handles, and if they find an unlocked car, uh, they're help, helping themselves to uh, our citizens' property. You may have noticed, uh, we recently did a new story where we uh, are now patrolling uh, our city on every shift with drones. That's particularly helpful at night because it enables us to uh, get up high in the sky and look for people that are working their way from door, uh, car to car to car. And uh, that strategy has uh, netted, netted a number of uh, really good arrests related to car burglaries. Oh, wow. So we're, we're getting our arms wrapped around that problem. But uh, it is a problem nonetheless. I would love it if people, like I said, would keep the doors unlocked. So please tell a friend, lock your car doors. Okay. Uh, don't forget every night we try to send out emails or uh, excuse me, reminders on social media. So uh, we just did a contest that was kind of cute if you get a chance to see that. But um, yeah, so please lock the car doors. We, we're working on it, but it's a problem that we just can't completely uh, knock out. Right, right. Now, um, so is there anything else you'd like us to know about what's going on? If there's anything even, it's not COVID-19 related, anything else at the department? The only thing I would say is that your Grand Prairie Police Department isn't going anywhere. Our officers are standing shoulder to shoulder with our community and our businesses. It is uh, our goal to get everybody safe, keep everybody safe, but also get everybody back to normal. Mm -hmm. Our cops are here for you. Don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call 911 if something doesn't seem right. We aren't going anywhere. Just because there's a pandemic or whatever the challenge is, that's what we get paid to do is keep people safe during difficult times. So uh, we're with you for the long haul. All right. Well, we appreciate you and the whole force. And I thank you so much for joining me today and just giving us a brief update on what's going on in town. My pleasure. Anytime. Thanks for having me. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> thank you.